Hey, Steve. Hi, Greg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks very much for uh, helping me out with this. No problem. Welcome to King's. So, I believe that you're going to help me find out what humans taste of. Um, try. By taking a muscle biopsy from my leg. Is that right? That's right. We're going to take a, a small piece of muscle from the outer part of your quadriceps muscle, your thigh, today. OK. Under a local anaesthetic, Steve is going to get right into my leg muscle. That's big. <laughs> and pull out a bit of tasty thigh. You've no pain. You've no pain. Oh. Okay, relax. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. All done. Oh. oh. I felt that. Would you like to have a look at? I'd love to have a what look. We've yes. Taken. What we actually can't see, but will be in there, is the connective tissue which wraps around muscle fibres. Is that like when you gnaw on a chicken bone and there's kind of the stringy bits? That's the connective that's tissue. Right. That's the, the connective tissue. We're actually a lot more like the animals we eat than you'd think. Analysis of my leg reveals that it's about half the same type of muscle found in chicken breast, but it also contains similar muscle fibres to those found in cuts of beef. To find out what that makes it taste like means travelling to Nottingham. I cannot guess what you hey, Avanash. Hello, Greg. How are you doing? Hello, How are you doing? The truth is, it's illegal to eat human flesh, even your own, but there's still a way to nail the taste. Avanash is about to make scientific history and analyse for the first time the aromas of cooked human. The aroma is usually around about 80% of the total uh, composition of the flavour. And that's why when you eat a banana, if you do that with your nose and you eat it, it doesn't taste of banana? That's correct. So this is it. This is my cooked leg meat. That's correct, yeah. Can I have a smell? Go for it, see what you think. Yeah. Oh! Actually, that actually smells quite nice. Is it really? It's really meaty, though. OK. Like, a lot richer than, than pork or chicken. Very distinctive. Yeah. Oh, it's like beef and ale stew or something. <laughs> So, what does Avanash reckon I taste of? Trending towards sort of the red meat side of, and also a bit towards the lamb and the pork, so it's a, it's a combination. I kind of feel like I need to taste it now for myself. You're on your own. Even if it was legal, I wouldn't want to sacrifice a whole arm to make a real Greg burger. So, I cooked up a mixture of the meat that came up in the analysis of my cooked thigh. You want a piece of me, piece of me, me, me. So now I've just got to eat it. It's good. It's like really beefy, bit lamby. Mm, I, I think that's going to be the closest I'm ever going to get to tasting human. I'll tell you what. Pretty good. <laughs>